I want to give you the code for the trading view moving average that I use. Ever since I've started doing these YouTube videos, I have a lot of questions about this indicator. Instead of just emailing this out to one person at a time, what I'm going to do is make this video, give you the code, and then show you how to turn it into an actual usable indicator on your TradingView platform. Now, this indicator is nothing really special, but it has the different options that you want all in one indicator. With TradingView, if you're looking for moving averages, you're going to find that the moving averages aren't all together in one. You have one exponential, you've got another one that is simple, you've got another one that is weighted, you've got another one that is hull. So what I've done in this case is I've recoded all of the indicators that I use for Ultra Blue Forex into something that's more user friendly for the members. And this is one of those indicators. If I double click on the indicator, we're going to see that we have an MA type. And this particular one is a 13 SMA, but I can choose whether it's an EMA, an SMA, a weighted moving average, or a hull moving average. And I can do that with one moving average. I don't need to be using different moving averages in order to make these kinds of changes. And there is also five different alerts that are coded into this moving average. Now these alerts are great for the Ultra Blue Forex members because they will signal or trigger different kinds of trades that we have. So what I wanna do is give you the code, show you how to plop that code into your trading view charts and turn it into an actual usable indicator. So the first thing you want to do is go to the description of this video. In the description of this video, you're going to find a link that is going to take you to my bubble up download page. Once you click that link, you're going to find a page that is this page. I'm going to say it looks like this because it is this page. This is the UBFX moving average trading view code. From here, click this blue button that is going to download that code for you. And with that new file, it's just a text file. Open up the text file, and this is what you'll get. Click somewhere on that text file, and then press Control A. That is going to select everything on that page, and Control C to copy, or right click and copy. And from here, go to your TradingView platform, open up a chart, and at the very bottom, you're going to see that you've got a list of options. Click on Pine Editor, and from the Pine Editor, click on open, new indicator, and that's going to give you a default little bit of code. Select that default little bit of code and go control V, and that's going to paste that code into your Pine editor. From here, go to untitled script and give it a name. I already use this one as UBFX moving average, so it defaults to UBFX moving average one. So that'll be good enough for me for now. So we'll click save. And now I've got that saved into my TradingView platform. So now we're going to use that indicator. So click on Pine Editor to close that editor. Let's go with a blank chart here. And from here, up the top, click on indicators and go to personal. And under personal, you're going to find your indicators, the ones that you've created on TradingView. From here, look for that moving average. This is the UBFX moving average one. I'm going to click that. It is going to add it to the charts. Let's get rid of this. And you have got your moving average. It is going to be the same moving average that we use. And again, SMA, EMA, WMA, HMA. So we've got a simple exponential weighted and haul moving averages. And you're also going to notice that there are a variety of alerts. Now these alerts are different kinds of trade types that we use at Ultra Blue Forex. We've got the buy and sell alerts. These will alert when a candle closes above or below the moving average. This is great for alerting us to zone trades. We've got the touch alert. There are some instances when we're looking for the price to pull back and touch a moving average. That sets us up for something like an elimination trade. And finally, we've got the turn up and turn down alerts. These are going to alert you for when the moving average changes direction. A lot of traders that use SMAs like this feature, especially when the moving average goes from down to turning up or when it goes from up to turning down, that can give you an alert as well. Now with these, if you've never used an alert, just clicking these alerts isn't going to be enough. You want to actually set an alert in your alerts tab. These are by default already checked, so you don't have to mess with these. You can go straight to your alerts tab, set up an alert, and have them work. So we're going to do that. I'm going to show you how to set up an alert just in case you've never used an alert before. Let's hit OK. We've got this moving average on the charts. I'm going to go to my alerts icon. Click that, we'll open up the alerts box. Now, if you don't have an alert already, you've got this little window that says create an alert. 
If you already do have an alert, you'll have to use this little plus icon to create an alert. So let's click the create alert box. Now it's going to show you the currency pair that you're on. Click on that currency pair. Now, if you've got a lot of different indicators on your chart, you'll have to find the one that you want to create an alert for. In this case, for me, it's UBFX moving average. So I'm going to click this. And underneath that now, you're going to get the options for the different alerts that you have available to you. So let's click on a sell signal because I think currently the price is above the moving average. So we'll click on sell signal. And now you've got some different options. When is this alert going to trigger? Is it going to trigger only one time and then never again? Is it going to only alert when the bar closes? and then never again. Is it going to alert only once per bar? So this means you can have multiple alerts, but never more than one on a given bar. Or you can have an alert sound once per minute. Now with this particular signal, it's already programmed in the signal to be created once the bar closes. So I'm gonna use that one anyway. So once per bar close. And from here, you'll see the message that's going to pop up, moving average sell signal, price closed below moving average. Let's hit create. And now you're going to see in this box, you have an alert. So as this market moves and the candle closes below that moving average, this is going to alert you to this. Now, if you want an alert for a buy, you'll have to make another alert. If you want an alert to sound when the price touches the moving average, you'll have to set up a new alert for that. But this is exactly how you do it. And once you've done one alert, you'll have no problem doing the other ones. From here, you'll simply want to click the plus and then add the next alert touch signal, let's say only once, because all I want to know is when the price gets to that moving average. So we'll hit only once. And what will happen now is when the price comes down to touch that moving average, you'll get the alert at that moment. So we'll hit create. And now we've got two different alerts. We've got the original sell signal when the price closes below the moving average, and we've got a touch signal or when the price comes down and touches that moving average. Now the touch signal moving average will work for either directions. If the price comes down from the top and touches it, it'll give you an alert. Or if the price rises up from underneath and touches it, it'll give you an alert. All right, I hope you make use of this indicator with the different alerts. It has been a very popular indicator and I hope you can take advantage of it.